the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. When we go out to the Lord's work and come into any place, we have the right to say this place by right belongs to the Lord Jesus. And we put our feet down there and claim that for the sovereign rights of the Lord Jesus Christ. The field is the world and it by right belongs to the Lord Jesus. The good seed, it says, is the children of the kingdom which he sows in the world. We are here in this world as children of his kingdom to claim his rights in this world. Then the next thing is the enemy. He comes to sow his bad seed. Jesus says, the enemy is the devil. You notice this devil, this enemy, comes into what does not belong to him. Satan is a trespasser in this world. He is an invader. The world does not belong to him by right. He has come into it as an enemy. It is enemy occupation. He comes to sow his seeds and to sow his seed alongside of the seed which the Son of Man sows. This one hates the Son of Man. Jesus calls him the enemy an enemy and he gives him the name the devil which means the adversary the one who just hates this son of man and is determined as far as he can to spoil the work of the son of man and so he comes into the field of the world and he sows his own seed alongside the good seed everybody knows that there are children of God and that there are other children in this world there are children of the kingdom and there are those who are not the children of the kingdom. We all know that. We know that the other children are alongside of us every day. But you see, here is the point. These children of the devil, of whom the Lord is speaking, are a special kind. Jesus calls them Darnell. Now Darnell in the east is something that is almost exactly like wheat. It is so much like the true wheat that it is not until it is full grown that you see the difference. This darnel is something that is false. It is something that is imitation. It is something that is a lie. It is something that pretends to be like the children of the kingdom, but is not. The enemy comes and sows something that looks very much like the true thing, but it is false. It is something that is the devil's lie. This kind of people talk the same kind of language as the children of the kingdom. They can use the scriptures. They can use the same phraseology. They can talk about Jesus. They can talk about the scripture. They can talk about the death of Jesus. But they mean something different. The Jesus of whom they talk is not God incarnate. They talk about Jesus, but they do not believe in the deity of Christ. They can talk about the Bible, but they do not believe the divine inspiration of the Word of God. They can talk about the death or the crucifixion of Jesus, but they just mean something quite heroic like other men's death. They take out of the death of Christ all the divine meaning of atoning sacrifice. And in many other ways, these children of the devil speak the language, but they have not the voice. They are imitation Christians. They have not been born of God. They are not the fruit of a de definite work of the Spirit. And the devil brings them alongside of the children of the kingdom in order to make confusion, to make the children of the kingdom look something different. It is just this work of mixture amongst people. Very often, you cannot on the surface see the difference. So the servants of the householder went to him and said, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? Whence then had it Darnell? And the Lord said, An enemy has done this thing. Remember, this is, the one of the, this is one of the works of the devil, to imitate Christianity, to set up alongside of the truth something that is false. 
Then the servant said, Shall we go out and root up these Darnell? The Lord said, No. If you do try to do that, you may not be able to discriminate between the true and the false, and you will be pulling up some of the true as well. Let both grow together unto the harvest. The Lord Jesus has said very emphatically, Do not do that. That is not your business. Just let both grow together, and as things grow, you will be able to recognize what they are. The evil will show itself more and more as time goes on. You will be able to recognize that, that that is not of the Lord. By the process of develop, development, it will show its true nature. In the course of time and in the end, it will be manifested that the thing is of the devil. It is against the Lord. But on the other side, and this is the real message of the parable, that which is truly of the Lord has got to grow and grow and grow more like the Lord. It is, of course, true that the church is in the world, and what is true of the world can be true of the church. There can be those who are not truly born again children of God. They mix with the Lord's people. They profess to believe the things that are in the word of God. My point is that there are a lot of people mixing with the true children of God who are not really born again. They are not truly children of the kingdom. The Lord Jesus wants us to understand that the true children of the kingdom will grow more and more like the Lord himself. The others will not grow like the Lord. They will just be false professors. Now the message of the parable is this. When the Lord comes or at the end of the age, those who are his will be perfectly clearly known as his. There will be no mistake in the children of the kingdom. You will know who are the children of the kingdom. There will be no doubt about it. They have been growing more and more like the Lord. The true divine nature which he had put into them at the beginning is showing itself more and more. This process of intensification is the law of the kingdom. The parable raises this big question for us all. Am I growing more and more like my Lord? Is there more and more of Christ in me as time goes on? The great consummation of the age is the manifestation of the sons of God. The word is, when he shall be manifested, then shall we be manifested with him. In the end, the sons of the kingdom will be clearly identified, but that is the thing which has got to go on every day. These two seeds were growing every day, and as they grew, it was possible to see which was which. Let me say to the young people here, begin by making very sure that you are a truly born again child of God, that you are a true child of the kingdom, that you are not just where you are because other people have said you ought to be there. But it is because of a very real work which God has done in your own heart. And that being your beginning, make sure that you are growing and growing and growing more like your Lord every day so that those who look on are able to say, there is no doubt about that man or that woman, that boy or that girl. They are the true and genuine things. There is no falsehood about them. There is no hypocrisy about them. They are not pretending to be Christians. They are the real thing. In the end, it will be manifested to all the world who are the sons of God. One other thing to notice here, what happens at the end? Well, the Lord here says that it is that which is of the devil which is to first be destroyed. It is all that which the devil has done, which the devil has planted, which will go to judgment first. 
He says, first gather the darnel into bundles. Gather the tares into bundles and burn it. All that is false, all that is not true is going to burn in the judgment. And then the Lord says, gather the wheat into my barn. It is a long story of the evil work of the enemy. It created great difficulties for us. But in the end, the Lord wins. In the end, the Lord has the true thing and all the other has gone. It is the end that matters. We have got to make sure that everybody knows exactly where they are. The great judgment fires are coming. We are working for a future day, the day when everything will be manifested for what it is. And we must be very faithful and leave nothing to chance. We must not assume that the people who think they are the Lord's people are really the Lord's people. We must do everything that we can to remove falsehood. The devil has put very much falsehood into Christianity. He has brought very much that is a lie alongside of the truth. And we must be very faithful to see that people know exactly what they are and where they are before God. Well, if you are not a true child of God, take a word of warning. Nothing that is false or a lie is going to get into the kingdom only that which is the truth. So may we all be those who are children of the kingdom and are growing day by day like him who planted us.